I will not bring a perkaholic here. Uh, soda fountain, raindrops. Uh, yeah, this isn't a very like quick setup. Uh, gobble gum, more designed for longevity. Hmm. I need to turn on the AC. Fucking the balls. I still do not trust my unconventional allies, but they are of great use to me. But I digress. Who would have thought the MDT was capable of time travel after the station such as Group they should do a little short film about this. Like I see the behind the scenes of Treyarch where they show the zombie footage and how they do the motion capture. Now, Glitching Queen had posted it. Mm. Too fun. We got a PC version. It's good for practicing because you there's mods that'll give you like free perkaholics, but you can't use these mods for like leveling. Like we should go find for, the fuse box. For your, like rank or anything. But it is good because you can also understand what gobble gums you might want to have when you do the egg for real. Because there's nothing like getting halfway through a fucking egg and realizing, oh, I can't do this unless I have a certain gum. Which is usually only the case if you're doing some of them solo. If you're doing it with multiple people, it probably isn't that bad. But I've yet to attempt Gorod with four people. Because I haven't found four people that either have the map or the edge. The only reason their eyes and dragon is pretty popular right now is because it's free. People aren't having to send a body so you can pass as much. Which, if you're a Zombies fan, you kind of have to. There isn't much content on this. If you're only into this for the Zombies, you're going to end up needing to buy the same pass. There's just not enough Zombie content off the gate. So I feel like Zombie fans, like, we've been the most loyal. We've been sticking with it since the beginning, but I think, I always feel like we get the shaft. Like, you'll get four multiplayer maps and one zombie map. And I know it can be difficult, but like the thing is not every map has to be a giant thing to make. You can make a few like nuke town maps where it's just a small setup the size, you know, something the size of not very Oh shit in the book. I'm still pissed I went that fucking alley way that way. Why am I always more yeah, animal? Just isn't coming down. In turn, doesn't that be fun? Well, at least not for staying alive. It's good for, I don't know, killing zombies at late rounds, but it's not good for like, clearing a path. Like, dead wire can straight up zap the zombies dead. But it's kind of random when it'll go up, too. That's why you really when do want to. It is happy hour! Taste aggression, filthy worm train! Look at that glitch mark song. The glitch mark song I think it's called Fortune Days. Good song, man. I, I caught them using it on Persons of Interest. That was already into the song. That's such a good show. Persons of Interest with uh, Michael Emerson and the guy that played Jesus. Into Diesel, like I didn't know what to think of that guy. Cause all I knew of him from was he played Jesus and Passion to Christ. So I was like, is this guy some like spiritual nut job or something? Like Kevin Sorbo? No, he's pretty cool. He did a good, he did a good job in that show. Same with the, all the cast. You know, Bruce was great, Shaw was great, Emerson his character was great, Finch and things like that. Pretty good. It's been a while since I had just like a good show. There were shows I watched, but none of them were considered like a good. Better Call Saul, I guess, is the closest. But honestly, I think it's just getting too full of itself. I think it's been too full of itself since the final season. Proper back. Socialist reform. Like, I'm almost tired of the characters. They do, like, the most random English shit. We get scenes of people, like, almost doing next to nothing. Like, if you can have scenes where characters, 
like, there's a whole scene where this guy, like, breaks into a, an office to steal a doll, but for some odd reason, the guy he's stealing from that happens to be there, so he has to camp out, and I mean, this scene goes nowhere. It adds up to nothing. They could have cut it out, and you wouldn't have known it's missing. If you can have scenes like that, then maybe you have too many fucking episodes. Like, Better Call Saul is definitely a show I think will benefit from pure, tighter, more focused episodes. It doesn't help that you pretty much know where it's going now. There's not many surprises left before it's not breaking bad. It almost reminds me of watching the Star Wars prequels. Like, okay, here's Gale, but it's not really that surprising. He's not like a big deal. Like, Tuco was a surprise at the first episode. Because it was like, oh, I'd almost forgotten about him. But Gale it was like, yeah, it's about that time you need to Gale. And I hated that scene. Because I'm, I'm into science. I hate this, like, idea that... Anyone who likes science is some fucking nerdy buffoon. Which I guess they can be, but god, it's such a character of like anyone into science. They seem like science demons and shit. You know how to say owned in Russian? <laughs> For almost a abandoned creature. That show's got me so crap. I feel like, you know how you have filler episodes? I feel like season 3 is a filler season. Like the main hook of the show is it's like a road trip story looking for, looking for God. Every five seconds they find an excuse not to go through the road trip. Oh, uh, we gotta take a detour. Uh, my God, they were, you can tell AMC is just hell-bent on stretching their show out as far as it can go. But they want it to be the next Jeff and Dead, or the next show that they own that's successful and that they can keep milking. Die, demon helping! And honestly, the actor that plays Jesse's getting kind of old. He wasn't that great. But he was okay. Now I'm just like tired of him. Tired of his fucking accent. The only character that still makes it worthwhile is, um, I can't remember his name on the show, but I know him from Misfits. He played Rudy. That was a good one. Alright, he's good. I like him. He's funny. The vampire. But I can't remember his name on the preacher. I'm so used to him from Misfits as Rudy. Though I did prefer on Misfits the character he replaced. Because he was actually a replacement for one of the main leaders, that immortal kid. He gets like thrown in jail that time to rip off Vegas or something. And he gets to play for a really good. I seem to like him no matter what he pops in. And it's usually because of the actor. He's being like a little... the writing third. Dempsey, I think you left your blush! Come on, motherfucker. But we, we could get a little 30 minute zombie. You see what episode, happens so. when you touch Nikolai? Nice. Something like Adam Children, but for the zombie fans. I feel like zombie fans have been patient and like the most abused. It's only recently they're starting to give us more zombie content in the game. But like, what a, or you got one map. And fair enough, that's the first one it does turn. Then Black Ops 2, you get two maps and one per DLC. And then Black Ops 2, at that point, they got the memo. The shit's popping. Now what's but, going to happen? Uh, Oh, I will yeah. gut them like a filthy capitalist pig. Uh, I should have got the. the stage. One show they canceled that was actually kind of good was that John Claude Van Damme show. That was actually kind of funny. It got a few laughs out of me. I see that fucking open conversation. Hmm. Yeah, the CW show is kind of fun. They, the they can be good, ball. but they can be complete shit as well. Sometimes they, like, Flash Season 1 was really on point. Then they went on, they went to shit. But then Legends became surprisingly on point. They fucking added Constantine as a regular. That's cool. That's one good thing about CW. They, like, can tap into, like, the real nerdy shit sometimes. Like, only, like, not everyone would appreciate that they picked up a character from a dead show and gave him a second. You got slime on my uniform! Alright, come on, give me an unquenchable. It's, it, it's overdue. Give me that fucking unquenchable. Give me the unquenchable. Give it to me. Give it to me. Fetch me their soul! Fetch my name. I think there are dogs right. coming now! Well, Nicholas. I think Dempsey is right. I like Rick Toffin, but I hate this Rick Toffin. He's so neutered. He's not as funny and animated as 
Activision's cool about these characters. I remember the four voice actors that do the main characters, they actually tried to put out a Christmas special with some Christmas song. For some odd reason, Activision shut that shit down in two seconds. Why am I so heavy now? <coughs> you know what, let's chat about COD in general. I feel like pe people, I was watching this one video, it's like Black Ops 4 isn't that bad, it's almost, no, it is. The thing is too, you know, the thing people are missing and I don't hear it get brought up, because they like, oh, COD's always a top selling shooter, it really hasn't been for the past few years, like, from Ghost onward, it's been in a decline. And, but the thing is, I think a lot of things that they don't mention is when Modern Warfare first came out and World at War, there weren't many good shooters on the market, but now there are. There's other places that people rather spend their time, from Fortnite, to Destiny, to Overwatch, like, they're not the only shooter on the block anymore. There's other places, pro you know, begging for the player's attention. Like, you know, come play with us. You don't want to pay to win, we got you, you know. Which, Fortnite is for at least free, so they can have all the pay to win transactions they want. That's fair play, it's a free game. This game, however, is not fucking free. Far from it. It's probably one of the more expensive games I end up buying on a regular basis because of the DLC, the Seasons Pass, then DLC not covered by the Seasons Pass, then Liquid Viviniums, then all kinds of shit. It's like, that level of greed isn't gonna fly. It flew when they were the only shooter on the market, but now there's other places to can spend their time with. And COD, I don't know, the, the sheer amount of COD games that have been released in the past few years have also kind of fatigued people. There's a lot of factors really working against Black Ops 4. In fact, it may be the zombie community that ends up saving it. In multiplayer, this battle royale thing doesn't work out, that's all there will be is the zombie fans. If the multiplayer were like, oh man, I like Destiny more. Anything like that. Then it will simply hinge on the zombie player base. I wouldn't be surprised if they do get rid of multiplayer, like, if zombies is the last mode standing. Because who would have thought it would outlast story mode? <laughs> that shit's crazy. Like, the first uh, Nazi zombie map was uh, hit and unlockable in World at War. And now, for beating story mode. And now story mode, <laughs> you might be lucky to get a story mode mission for beating zombies. It's crazy. I really can't believe that's where we're at. Alright, give me the meal. Yeah. Why can I see so clearly now? I can see all obstacles in my way. Die, slime thing! Die, die! I can die, see clearly. I can see clearly. I can see clearly. I'll probably do some werewolves with them later. I've been in that in that game. Well, I was mostly so I can catch up on this because I know my brother wanted to tempt some eggs, but I'm, I am doing this game now. Son of game. Bitch. However, I'm very eager for Black Ops 4 to have new zombies in general. Zombie Chronicles was nice, but at the end of the day, they were maps I had played before. I hope I don't get fucking dead shot again. That is one you can keep. Do not bring back Deadshot. Please don't. That is a stupidly useless perk. Bring back Vultures. I honestly, that one wasn't that useful. Because, yeah, it gives you money, but... You won't be that hard up for points. And being able to see through the zombies through the walls, it's more useful, I guess, to know where the box is. It's useful if you're new to the map, because it'll show you where all the boxes are and stuff. But once you learn the map, like, your skill can render that perk useless. Same with Deadshot. Your skill to aim at the head, especially on PC, because you just... Um, my it's cap always is not double, but not my so ADS does kind of snap on, but like here it's very... like it pulls it straight to the center. I like it rough, but not that rough! So you're dead now, but you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! If I don't find ammo, I'll have to kill them with my breath! There we go. See, last time I couldn't get a little break like this before. Usually I can, though. It's actually kind of nerve-wracking to do it here. Still running there too long. Oh, time's too long, I think. 
Hey, where is all the ammo at? Does this have eight perks or seven? Oh wait, no, it does have eight. I forgot about me. Okay. I need to find out if Twitch will let me put in the disclaimer. If people don't seem to like that I smoke, I'd rather just put it on the channel. Smoking and swearing. You know, don't watch if you don't like it. Mm. Yeah, uh, some people really hate smoking. I was like, I don't get on people for drinking, and I don't like drinking. You know. You know, people eat unhealthy. I don't like people eating meat. And my, the sheer volume they eat it. That's what really drove me to get, give up meat. Was like this, I worked in a restaurant on and off throughout my life, and you just see so much food going in the trash, especially when you work at a fancy place. You get people that think like it's just their right to waste food because they got so much money. But it's like, and I, I mean, sometimes they wouldn't even touch the food. They would like, mm, I'm in a hurry, just put it in the trash. You know, it's like really, like they would order so much and throw half of it away. I can't stand the waste and the sheer volume at which people eat meat. That, and then the way animals are being treated. Some of all of it just kind of goes away from wanting to be eat meat a little bit. But yeah, sheer volume. But like, I don't get on to other people. I worked in a restaurant and people would try to tease me like, Ooh, look at this crazy, like, bacon native thing. Mm, wouldn't that be good? Like, not really. I know, even when I ate meat, I didn't really seek out bacon and stuff. My go-to thing was probably hot dogs. I still kind of like them. In fact, I still eat a hot dog on my birthday. Well, sometimes. I allow myself to do it. I don't always do it. I didn't last year. But I allow myself to do it if I want to treat for myself. Because I don't necessarily, like, I definitely don't mind eating meat if you, like, hunt it. And, you know, you so well. And like that. Or it, especially in a survival context. Like, you're trapped in the woods or something. You didn't bring you enough know, you to take on the Soviet. But in, in a supermarket type of area, where you got supermarkets and shit. Whatever. And, and, so they do make some good veggie products, and at the end of the day, it's like they're almost eating the same thing, it's just like healthy. When you swap out uh, mayonnaise or veganaise, or the Hellman's veganaise, and I tell you, the Hellman's one tastes just like the non, the regular one. But it's, it's like no cholesterol. It tastes the same, but no cholesterol. That's essentially what it is. You, you get to eat a lot of the same things. Like if you were to sub like in your daily diet what you eat and sub it with veggie bacon, it'd be like you're doing the same thing, you're just doing something that's a little bit healthy. I am Oscar for you. It's always like you stay a bit healthier without really having to try too much. I held on! But yeah, I don't really get much. Stop. But not that rough. Alright. Mm. People won't stop so I'm gonna switch to vaping. I don't want to vaping. It you don't understand how like, vaping is part of brainwashing. People think smokers are brainwashed. But you know vaping the only reason it got popular is because the people that came up with all those vape pens and shit, they paid Obama to pass the Family Tobacco Act, which banned smoking indoors. It uh you know, it did a lot of things. It added the fire safety strips, it raised the price of cigarettes. All the while, they're pushing this thing into the market, which you can smoke inside. They're banning smoking outside, all the while they're introducing something you can smoke inside. The vape. They made sure that you can never have flavored cigarettes, but you can have flavored vapes. And I think that's weird that the government can, like, step in and give, like, a competitor an advantage. Like, they get a sizable advantage over tobacco. Uh, which one of you crap your pants? That's why vaping is popular because they promote it. It's not because you just woke up with the urge Nikolai one day. Coming for you. They just promoted it. They pushed it. They made it so like smoking was um, seen as uh, the worst thing ever. It's not open. Drinking ain't no cakewalk either. That's what it really gets to me. Like no one even bats an eye drop drinking. It's like whatever, drink whatever. Nosferatu, bitches. But I've known quite a few people who started from drinking. One guy I worked with at a restaurant he got tumors in his liver, but he's willing to stop drinking. One day his wife just came in and was like, he's dead. He passed away. I was like, damn, he was just like working right beside me. And then I have a half sister that mother was killed by you drunk were drivers. Before. Ah, fuck you. People want to talk about how sick hand smoke kills. I promise you a drunk driver will kill you faster.
But it's, it's always weird the way that, like one bad thing is so heavily condemned and another bad thing is okay, acceptable. Mm, I hate open, but yeah, in general, people should let it go. It's not like I'm forcing them to smoke or anything. And swearing, I get it to comment. Stop swearing. That's so weird to hear kids say, because when I was a kid, like, we'd wait for our parents to not be around so that we could start swearing. I'll get in trouble if I say fuck or shit, but, you know, when mom and when parents aren't around, we swear to like sailors. I don't know, that's such a weird thing, like, for kids to be that obedient. You shouldn't swear, swearing's bad. That's like, wow. Kids are certainly different nowadays. Fucking Buy me oh, play this I annoying wish I song, power. monkey! Or Shadow Creek Power. Pray power, you give us. Oh, I wish this damn thing was also random. Like, I sometimes will get into a pattern where I'll get the same thing like 10 times in a row. Actually, that one I will take. This does make looping the stage a bit easier, because you can break through trains quicker than you would. Because you might see like a little gap you can get through, but if you're going too slow, the gap might close. But with stamina, you usually can make it. I'm not going to focus as much on speeding through the rounds. Unless I get a thunder gun or something that can really take out groups of time. Like, what am I thinking? Where's the gun? Yes, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Have I got my Divinions, man? What's going on? Alright, start this shit up, man. Nope, alright, uh. Let's not do this. Didn't I turn that on? Fucking shoot that asshole. Man, that torrent has been nerfed ridiculously. Every time I turn it on, it's lucky if it kills two zombies. Half the time it's pointing in directions zombies aren't even at. It was never that great of a thing to use. But, like, why do you keep pointing at the fucking ceiling, man? That's what happens. It'll point at the ceiling, and then when it goes to aim at the zombie, the zombie will have moved by the time it gets its aim set up. Stupid fuck damn zombies. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm gonna grab one off the wall now. It's about time. I can, the knife is useless. Grab it! Ah, oh, that's been a thing that's been buggy lately, too. You gotta grab something that doesn't like grab. Been having that. I swear, like, one day the game will be buggier, or one day it'll load fast, and the other day, the next day it'll load quicker. That smell. It's like they're constantly, Maybe like, tweaking settings to see what will look the best. Do it in Black Ops 3 where you take the campaign in zombies. I think I did it for a second and it just wasn't very interesting. Remember those Black Ops 2? One of them you could in campaign all the enemies were turning into zombies. But it wasn't very interesting. Remember when World at War let you do the whole fucking story in co op? They even let you do it online in co op. That shit was fun. You'd be like competing, you can get the most points and you get the most headshots. And everyone would do the uh, ray gun trick on the beach. <laughs> fun times. Oh, I'm out of coffee. I'm gonna refill my coffee. Be right back. Got my coffee. Good to go. Good to go. Oh yeah, gobble gum. Give me that gobble gum. Fuck. What you got for me? Don't need that. I'm long overdue for that fucking divinium. Hmm. I hate the way 
way they'll constantly keep respawning in. Like, if you move, like, five feet away from it, it'll just disappear and try to spawn in somewhere else. I'd rather there be already be a board ready to go. It's sad how quickly they hit the PS4 console limitations. It's not like anything else. It takes a long time for PS3 for them to hit the peak power levels. Games that came out PS3 when it first came out versus the end of the lifespan, it's like night and day. They're comparing Resistance to like Uncharted 2 or 3. You see what happens when you touch Nikolai! Getting low on ammunition! Alright, tell him you. I should probably get a the video doing this. Hopefully. This better be good. Maybe I got one big enough. If I did get one earlier, then I probably won't get one. Hurry, 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 come on! Exactly uh, what I need! Get one for sure. The round 7 one is usually comes fairly quickly. You'll naturally get it just opening a door or two. <sighs> I seriously need some refund. This is like my Splinter game. I need to get good at like enjoying it without being stunned. Where's the... there it is. I already got the achievement for putting off the way in. Just so we're doing it for the fuck of it. I'm gonna try to do the easter egg where I launched a rocket. But I always fucking forget. Long what's in your head? In your head? Zombie, zombie. Fucking <sighs> <coughs> the air is all kind of dry. It's making my throat scratch. I need to drink more water. All I drink is caffeine lately. Mm. Oh, that's hot. I was watching some bitch ass motherfucker rank the maps. He ba basically put every map that you couldn't give Jug right out the gate as a shit map. What is it? Like, I don't find a map. They're all yeah. around me now! Every map that was stupidly easy got very easy. Except for Origins. That one is really tricky. They're not coming. But it was like Ascension is number one. You know, like, oh. Ascension, I hate that map. It's stupidly easy. Like, that is the only map. I remember that, or at least that was the first map. Like, I couldn't die in. I had to just say, I'm bored. I'm going to kill him. There are just so many places to loot with effortlessly. There's near the rocket, the launch pads. So many places to loot. There's a good, pretty good loop spot in the spawn area. That's the thing. A lot of areas have loop spots. Like the stage is a good loop spot, but can you? Four people can't loop the same spot because they'll fuck each other up. They'll cross their herds into each other, or one will fall out of sync and get killed. That usually doesn't work out too well. But if you can have four individual places to train, that's what it's going. Really Ascension is a bit easy. Even with the monkey still in the parks, you can always guard Jug from them. <laughs> Breaker ride's a good one to have, but make sure you get it the third time and pull the machine out of existence. Then you'll have to put some jug. You don't want my soul! <laughs> only get Probably those. Because like you can guard jug and they'll drop off each other. Oh yeah, let's go. This door of wine. You okay? This door of wine, I'm not taking it. I won't put it in place. That's it. Yeah, baby. Oh shit. Man! See what I mean about the animations getting me fucking killed? Ugh. Oh, you used to be able to cancel shit by hitting the melee. Alright, 
I got speed loader. The next one I want, I guess, is the new The new one I don't care for is, uh... Headshot. That still bugs me. I can't believe that one survived, too. Like, it's still I in the game. Somewhere, not have to move so much. Good. Uh, I get there's tired. Someone, 14 one. Does this come with the cup holder? This is what I've been waiting for. This makes the game completely easy. Give me something good. Yeah, I'm missing something good. You fuck off. I forgot I had these monkeys. I should have used them last time. I can sometimes forget I have monkeys. Stupid monkey. I think the zombies hate you, monkey! Uh. I do like can I can actually do the alley now. The th not having thunder gun is really a problem in e Alright, let's get that level up, I think. What is the record? Probably something stupid. So probably something that involves leaving the PlayStation on for a few days. I remember I saw Spider Bite a lot ways back trying to set the block up for record for Ascension. He went until the game just kicked him off the network. I think he had like 160 round, something like that. Then eventually the, the network just kind of timed out or crashed or something. He didn't get killed. Well, I remember the end of the story. Something else. I do have to block out for beta, but I don't play it like much. First few days it didn't even work. <laughs> and it just looks so good. Especially of Destiny. I don't... It's such a Destiny thing. Especially like the armors. The armors they wear. It's like, they don't even make sense from the Call of Duty universe. Alright, let's get that train going. All aboard the right train. Probably can't even make a right train joke in these days. Oh, why well, are you making light of rape? No, I'm making light of fucking training zombies and rape. You know how to say own the Yeah, I'm making light of raping people. Salute! But we used to call it the rape train. All aboard. Hold them the fuck down. All right, all right. Can switch over, man. Okay, I don't really need that. All right. Guess I'm gonna pack. Ooh. Crushed under the might of the Red <laughs> Army. All right, supposedly you go in front of this mannequin near this one. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to walk, the teleporter, but I'll jump on the other see if this bullshit works. It's one of those things where it sounds like complete bullshit, but I wouldn't be kind of surprised if it were. We're about to find out. But I also have to spawn in the, get the room with the rocket. 
But I have one more. So I can have more way. drink. Let's see if I can get a better one. Come on, give me some dead air. Come on. Da boom. Ugh. That's not too bad, I guess. Start killing them down there. Get to work. That's strange. He should be killing them. So it's like, because I'm not in the area, he can't do it. I noticed that when you go down, he won't go around to do it. Ah, like, oh, shit. I didn't get to the right place. Oh. I see you turn. Jesus, that Greed is the thing we start doing back up Give me three. ammo! Put a zombie right on the top of this. Alright, now. Burn, motherfuckers, burn. So you're dead now! But you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! Hey, keep that out. Keep that out. See how they hit your legs sometimes, and when you can't actually see it, you never saw them go past your view. You take too long to notice what's doing it and kill you. Alright. Ah, it looks like we got a slow zone. Die by the hand of Nikolai! Hey, the drive! Indeed. I'm out of ammo! Maybe ah, I should go. just drink instead. Third one, last it one's gonna be no book. I'm just gonna let that drop bolt to the side. What is one is great, but it might be a bit on the easy side. Uh, if one did return, it really didn't make too many new perks this time around. It didn't really make. Revelations have a little basic perks, so that they're icing rocking, so it is quite a little bit of a problem. Like, black ops 2, almost every map tried to get one new perk machine. Die Rice, you got uh, two, and uh, the dead, you got the cherry, berry, Just the with the doctor day. ordered. Origins, I don't think introduced one, but it did introduce the Wonder Fizz machine. Mm. There are always like levels to have like kind of difficult ways, but not too difficult ways to get an extra perk, like killing George, digging up the golden dig spots, uh, Shangri-La letting a monkey grab a max ammo, and he'll turn it into a, a perk bottle, but only for a fraction of a second. You gotta be ready to shoot it when you see it. You almost gotta know the rhythm and the pattern that it changes I, uh, things in there. <laughs> I'm not sure if that pattern's changed any either for the Black Ops 3 version. I wasn't crazy about the Black Ops 3 version. The mud, they fucking made it too bad. It, I think the mud in Shangri La was worse than it is in Origins or uh, Shinonuma. Though it is pretty bad in Shino, but. Like, the zombies just catch up to you, and if you don't got a weapon that can put them down, you're not getting through that mud without dying. Hey guys, look what I did. It's, like, way too fucking crazy. And I think they mostly did it to nerf, um, Shinonuma, because that was a popular train spot out in the back where the Easter egg music song is. People would train that up to the water, and you could go forever. Especially in the old days, because it was only 24 zombies. That's for you, Demon Spawn! At least on console, they may be let you spawn more on PC. I know on what what at War PC you have a setting how many zombie bodies can be on screen at once. Like how long the corpses stay. How do you like that, Demon? Is nice on the screen, the Let's stay here. You have the corpse almost everywhere. You want to be able to watch the corpse. See what happens when you touch Nikolai! I'm curious to see how uh, 
pod benefits from being on the battle map. I mean, they li listed a set of options, like, you'll be able to play with your friends. It's like, we do, we can already do that on every other platform. What are you bringing to the table? Better support, better... It, like, it would list off the most basic PC settings. We're gonna have anti-aliasing. Well, no shit. What are you doing that's specific? Set it off the pods. But, when, it, but they weren't always well optimized. I'm wondering how this will impact the community, because Black Ops 3 was kind of deadish on PC. I wonder if Battle.net will be beneficial or harmful. Because maybe people won't know that it's on Battle.net, it'll confuse people. Maybe people are dedicated to Steam, they won't want to cross over just for that. I mean, if you're already playing things like StarCraft and things that Blizzard make, then I can understand why that wouldn't be a big deal. But if you're not a regular Blizzard gamer, I don't know, it might harm the player base. I'm gonna have to put out like a video ad or something for Black Ops 4 because my brother's only gonna get it on PS4. And I only have it ready to go on PC. I am not buying another one for console. The way they hold you hostage with PSN is annoying. Like you have to pay for PSN, right? But you need it for like solo options, like how you level up your gun and like put different scopes on it. If you're not signed in, you can't use any of that shit. So you have to be signed in to use stuff even for uh, single player. Which, that's where I draw the lines. Like, don't make me pay online to play something single player. Yeah, yeah. You don't ever have to pay for this stuff, unless it's a single player. Never mess with but the idea of paying to play a single player, I can understand, like, I can't go online, I can't play multiplayer, but if you're not signed in, you can't, like, have your custom guns or nothing. Even if you want to do something completely offline or single player or solo. And that really broke in the wrong way. Oh, y'all need some trap time. Traps are useless a lot of times too, because by the time you go into the trap, they'll spawn in. Excuse me, they'll spawn in other places. Sometimes just me running from the stage to here is enough to make the zombies die out in there and start trying to spawn in a new spot. Um, the way zombies spawn in, it makes the traps not as useful. It's not useless, but I'm not useless, but what am I doing? I'm not this. Oh, right. Stop this. I do not like buying a perk without throwing one of those down, because that stupid drinking animation can fucking kill you if it's badly timed. Screw all of you! Yes, you can Oh, there's splattered all over the place now! monkeys. They should always have a little easter egg where you can do that. So you don't have to waste a fucking crate power. I don't know, lately I've been getting lucky and I got a few crate powers. Uh, it used to be the opposite. I would get wall powers and almost no crate powers. Now I got a lot of crate powers and almost no wall powers. But that's probably mostly because I used them all trying to level out that um, what should I call it? There are two new icons on my Twitch app. I don't know what it be. All oh, right, yeah, it's pretty good. What else Greedy capitalist cannon? dogs, give me ammo! Let's buy something interesting. Mm. This should help me protect my vodka. The third slot. So I better not lose this thunder gun if I get it down. Usually it takes the third weapon, but sometimes it'll take a weapon that wasn't your third one. That it probably shouldn't have taken. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't like Who's Who. I'm one of those people that did hate that perk. It just was never very useful. Nine times out of ten, I would spawn in a spot that I just couldn't get to my body in time. Like, if it worked better, I, I could see myself liking it. Vulture's Aid is fun, just because it's more useful specifically in Barry, because you have witches to take I got the mover, they'll take me so down! It could be useful from that, but. But they don't drop a lot of it. You have to kill them. No, no, but they do this first like a smoke that gets them to kind of fuck off. And, to fuck off. and it also lets you 
see through walls, but not just zombies. You can see where all the heart machines are, and heart punches, and stuff like that. It's not terribly useful. Like, it's a weird perk because it's more like a jack of all traits. It does like a bunch of small things. Nothing very big, like Juggernaut. It's a very focused thing. It's that clicking again! All oh, ammo! <laughs> He's sometimes playing with animals. I like when he tries to impersonate the death machine sound effects. Oh, my Why am I so heavy? Now? I don't know if I'm for, but the problem is, if I play it by myself, I'll be stuck with tank. Black Ops 1 doesn't use a lot of the same lines, but they were really for it. Uh, Mob of the Dead. That made the number one spot on the top video I saw ranking the maps, which I disagree just because, like, if a map's too easy, that's not really fun. I do like the atmosphere of the map and the general locale, but man, I could train for days on that rooftop with the classic Lumberjack and the uh, Hell's Redeemer, and then if you went back and got the Mark II. Originally, you didn't have the Mark II, but when they released Buried, they made the Mark II retroactive so you could get it in any map. So if you had yourself a nice Mark II and a Thunder Gun, Acid Thunder Gun, because you couldn't get Mule Kick, you can't have three guns, but the Hell's Redeemer is plenty good, it'll kill zombies no matter the round. You can, find, you can train the Golden Gate, no problem. Fetch me their souls! Let's play Fetch the Grenade, Demon Spawn! All three. <laughs> The boss is kind of easy. That's one of the reasons I kind of like uh, Shang a lot. I don't like the Black Ops 3 version, but in general, I like the Titan Face. Or I'll take the map base. There's one reason I like the Rook. There's some tiny spots, but there isn't a lot. Like, there's not a lot of Rook all around. Like, this is a nice open area. Why am I so heavy now? I hope they go back to two hits, too. I don't know why zombies never get the beta in. You know? It's always multiplayer, but who gives a shit? Like, zombies legit has bugs. Several of the eggs will bug up on you and not let you complete them. It's so weird. This is packed. This could be packed. Why do they insist on picking on me? You know how to say owned in Russian? Owned! Die, you filthy dogs! Bad hell pigs, bad! Fall like Caudal Bourgeois! Die, Satan's minions! Forcing filters was always more than one part. Sometimes it tastes really coarse too. Lacks the smoothness. And my discount cigarettes keep going up in price. But I hate that, because that's not like really... Like if I quit because they went out in price, it isn't because I quit because I want it to. It's because I fucking just get raised in price so I couldn't afford it. I don't know, I hate, I think that's like disruptive to the free. I don't know. People should be able to pick and decide. The government shouldn't be like forcing it. They shouldn't give their competitors a blatant advantage either, like what they did with the late people. I made a very big mess. I like it 
drop, but not that drop. You see what happens when you touch Nikolai? If I don't find ammo, I will have to kill them with my breath. So there were a ton of zombies, and now there's only fucking three behind me. I think they're all trying to steal my vodka. Is this it? You oh, there they are. Where the fuck they come from? Hear that, or is it just me? Why am I always needing more ammo? Double points! Pudim's a drove. Let's stay healthy. You're an asshole. turn. Oh! Cool. Oh, very nice. Forgot this was the challenge to get the round 25. <laughs> I bet some people are having trouble with it. Alright, where did the bombs go? Not here, not there. Running low on ammo! I'm drunk! Right, I guess I should have thrown out one. It is happy hour! I really want this. Between this and my alchemy one, I have like Let 15 the fist of Stalin. Up your ass. So ammunition is not going to be much problem. Pile it up, pile it up, pile it up. Meet the fury of the Red Army! Pattern, so the slower ones can catch up the faster ones. So you're dead now, you but you were dead before! Ah, oh, fuck you! No, it's my vodka! Mine! Mine own! I'm honestly tired of video games being dumbed down. I don't know why everyone feels they get to beat everything. You know, if you're not good enough to beat it, you just don't get to see the ending. You know, you just get either get better at it and learn to beat the game, or you don't. The game shouldn't get easier or stupidly easy because everyone needs to feel like they're a fucking winner. Some people are fucking losers and they're never good at shit. They're never gonna get good at shit, and that's just. And you know, like that, seeing the end to conclusion to a video game is like a reward. Like you, you get a challenging boss, but you learn how to beat it. But now it's the opposite. You're fucking that boss is beaten too many times. You want us to lower that difficulty for you? You want us to kill the boss for you? Like wait before sight. Yes, back to my boy. That's an easy thing. Criminally easy. But still fun. Again, the atmosphere is good. I don't like. I like the Easter egg song, but I hate how short it is. It's like just over a minute long. Though you can't get Rusty Cage to play as well as Gun Crash, which is good. Not quite as nice as Ace of Spades on Burrath, probably. I love Ace of Spades. And thankfully they're not dicks and don't go around copyright striking my video when I accidentally let the intro blow up. Then some will always get me if I like, let the Origins intro play too long, which it will obviously get poor for some late times. And then when I was doing the moon, I thought it was a little bit of 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 
fucked up part is, of it too is I always I never liked Avenged Sevenfold. It's like I wouldn't listen to them of my own volition. I mean, it's only being played because it's mandatory. It's fuck you. Make me listen to your song and then give me shit for it. Just like fuck you. I like it rough, but and I'm pissed that they're gonna do the song in five. Like I don't want to hear this fake assholes making music. Like if you like it, then sell for it. Go buy it, then sell for it. Just with the doctor order. Out. But the line of Sigmund stuff and that, those kind of songs, they only exist for the maps. Like, if there were no zombie games, the songs just wouldn't exist. But Van Sevenfold songs would continue to exist and continue to get made regardless of zombies. Same with Eminem. But I didn't mind the five song originally, because it seemed like they were just trying to do something different and maybe trying to reach a little bit more mainstream appeal. Sevenfold. They're a bunch of wannabe fucking edge. Come quickly! I'm surrounded! Die, slime thing! And honestly, Treyarch should iron out the fucking copyright issue. Because believe me, if I could skip the cutscene, I would. If I could turn off just their music. You might like the Vent Sevenfold, but I don't listen to them. And even if I were to tolerate them. Like, I can't, they'll get me into trouble. I listen to a song. I would listen to my life. Mm. It's always the shit musicians to pull that shit, too, you know? There's always the decent ones that, like, are more understanding, but, like, yeah, I can see that it just kind of played. You capitalist hell pigs! Die! Like, I didn't even get hit for doing the Electronauts game, and you know how much copyrighted music's in that? That game is all copyrighted music, and I didn't get hit for doing it. But then again, the fans that signed up for that game probably aren't picky about, you know, getting exposure. That's probably why they agreed to be in the game. Good exposure. Die, you filthy so streaming dogs. it, more exposure. And I think you do remix the song, so maybe it constitutes fair use a little bit. Because I am changing it into something else. I almost hope the multiplayer Black Ops bombs and that leads them to make a zombie only game. This is me officially calling it. I bet Zombie Survives outlives multiplayer. Or at least the Battle Royale mode. The oh no, it could be good. We really have seen each other properly. Oh yeah, let me get a gobble gun and eat my uh, ammo refillers. Let's just call them ammo refillers. Yeah. I know it's good. Ooh, I'm gonna pee before we start another round. Coffee. She's really good about making you run where you aren't just yelling. The other thing, the games last a long time. There's plenty of time for, let's see, where are we going? Yeah. There we go. This is gone. The other rounds are probably going to take some time to pass. But I was thinking, I'm going to do werewolves for them tonight to see how the community is going. I've been away from VR in general too long. I just didn't feel like rearranging. And honestly, she never has been getting away on the box side. And the player count's been dropping. Like, every game I've been in the past couple times it turned into a fucking political debate involving Donald Trump. A bunch of stupid kids talking about. Man, I'm not in favor of executions, but I would, I would be okay with someone assassinating him, or we should bring him back you to kill him. Say, oh, and then, do you understand what that means oh. if Donald Trump dies? That means you get his vice president. Like, ah, you but I'm not even trying to get into that. That's so the point. It's like, you can't even get into werewolves two seconds nowadays without someone bitching about Trump. 
Did you guys hear that voice? Or healthcare or some fucking thing that's it's really out of place. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, that drives! And you get a lot of people just kind of yelling shit over and over. He's a werewolf, he's a werewolf! Like, by the fifth time, everyone in the room has acknowledged who you believe is the werewolf. Let the other people fucking speak. And they, they get, the games take a while, too. There's plenty of time for everyone to speak and say who they think is the werewolf or speak their face. There's no excuse for people constantly yelling over each other. Because it's annoying. I'll play Star Trek instead, or everyone doesn't yell at each other. I get. I play with headphones on too, so if someone's yelling, it's literally in my fucking ear. And if people just turn it into a guessing game, where they just randomly start shouting out who they think is the werewolf, then it stops being a game to me. The game to me is like the Sherlock's homey type production. If you're not doing that, then the game's not fun. So I play Star Trek or Redfoons. I really do like the just eliminating the suspects based on like the evidence and the power rolls plays. You got slime on my uniform! I don't even mind Mudbutt anymore actually. He, like he's almost like Trump, like you know where he stands though. A lot of people that people think on knife and werewolves were then, they'll turn around and start talking shit about people. Like I thought everyone was really good with Michelle. And then soon I she left the room, man. People just started attacking her like Oh god, she's ugly. It's saying all kinds of nasty things. I was like, I thought you were just dead now. What you were dead before? No. Ah, fuck you. See, like at least with Mudbutt, you'd know what he thinks. He, you know, he won't like fucking wait till you're not around to attack you or something. That's why I don't mind Mudbutt as much because he's like the asshole you'll see coming. Other people, they'll like step, be more stabby in the back, kind of thing. But there are some good people, they just haven't been on lately. They seem to have moved on to other things, like, uh... I've seen a few playing Fortnite, and stuff like that. But the game is fun when it really goes well and you get a good room. It is a really fun game. I really do like the just ruling out people. If I'm a werewolf, I really enjoy trying to rule out the saint. Because they'll do stupid things to give it away, too. If that's like, all you got, maybe I'm not drinking enough. Like, everyone plays with different rules, too. One person's like, you don't sniff in the saint's game. And then I'll be the saint and, like, sniff with me. And so I thought, we don't sniff in the saint's game. Because, you know, I could be the fucking saint. We might just give it away right now. Crushed under the might of the Red Army. Like, it's weird, too. Because, like, one game I'll be in, they'll be like, I'll try to do the thing where you try to get read the book backwards if you're really a gossip or a victor. And then I'll get in the room, they're like, we don't do that shit. And then the next game I get in, they'll be like, you need to read that book back. We don't do this shit. I just killed a billion zombies. I'm not a Star Trek fan, but I like the game. So. It's very, like, you know, it's a chill. I hope they have vodka. And also, I'm a bit tired of it. I wish they would have had more variation. Oh, hell yeah. You know, like, they have a Russian spy variation of the game. Pocket. They should have done something like that for the game. And get the villagers something to do. I get so bored. I hate when people cute, like think I'm suspicious because they don't talk, but I'm like the villagers. Like, I you don't want much to say as a villager. Page. You don't want me to a point, then. And there ain't much to talk about. But I'm gonna try to get off the money. Get some out. A little that's another reason I don't play too much, that game does get me drinking. It has a very, like, bar no I have issues. You capitalist hell Die! Fuckers, he's not my way going. Like wheat before sight! I want to check out Firewall, but I'm really not crazy about getting that gun controller. What, like all the three games support it? And I'm not feeling Sony with VR lately. Like, they remind me of the Vita too much, just and how... Not that the Vita and VR devices are similar, but the way Sony goes about handling it. Or not like mentioning it at E3. Even if it isn't dying, it gives the impression that it is when they don't even mention it. The VR is good, and I, from what Sony reports, it's selling slightly better than their expectations, so I think it's earned a little small fight. Die, Demon Spawn! And, like, if a VR game is done really good, there's a lot of games now, we've said about Resident Evil and the Drift, uh, Dirt Game, most games are very, like, super low budget. Like, they're not going to play the resources into them. No soul for you. And they do put those kinds of resources into the VR game. It is happy hour! 
but Sony, I don't know. And the fact they won't even talk about upgrading the move controllers. They're like, we'll just give you this gun controller instead. It's like, no, 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 you're sidestepping the problem. We still need to fix this. There's no analog stick on the move. Like, I don't know, it's 70 bucks, but if I could play with one before I bought it, it might change my mind. Like, if I play it, I'm like, oh, I get it now. Why like, this is so essential. But right now, I'm not seeing it. You pretty much have to change in game every, like, I remember Arizona Sunshine had a patch for it. They had to change the weapon rate because you usually do wield pistols and stuff. But now they have to change it to dual, uh, two handed weapons, rifles, and things you would generally aim with two handed I got the move or they'll take me down! Uh, I think we just need better move controllers. And again, another thing Sony doesn't even mention is possibly adding a second camera or some kind of sensor for a better tracking. Thank you. This it's, and it's ironic and too. Voice. I know that Tim would be bitching if about Sony releasing new hardware. Like, they're releasing a new version of the PlayStation, but with VR, we're like, yeah, release a new version. This is cool, but I want better. That's how VR is. I want more. This is the one time we'd be really willing to revive oh, Saint Chill and hope we kept making it better. You see what happens when fun. you touch the light? It, it leads to different kinds of games existing that couldn't have existed before. Or if they did it, it wouldn't be nearly as enjoyable. Like, I wouldn't enjoy Werewolves if it was a normal game. And to me, the same with Star Trek. I know Star Trek can be played without VR, but man, the immersion of just being on the intro. I don't even like Star Trek and I just don't appreciate the cool novelty factor of looking around your ship and seeing your captain up there and shit. I don't even like Star Trek, but I still like think that's really cool. This is proper socialist reform. Hmm. I love playing the fucking classic shit. Turn on targeting. Uh, okay. Which jelly bean does that? I wish they made more gameplay, but I don't know. The thing is, Ubisoft has a bad track record for banning their games. I just got Eagle Flight. That game is fucking dead. No patches were ever released to fix some major fucking issues with the game, like you can't turn blinders off. There's a message that tells you you can tilt your head to turn faster, and it appears almost every 10 seconds, and you cannot disable it. Our mind is dead. And Ubisoft appears to have abandoned the page. Because their forum has, like, Countless requests asking, please let us turn the blinders off. No. And then I found an interview from one of the people that worked on it. It was like, I just didn't like it that way. Well, then don't make games for other fucking people. Make games for just you yourself and fuck off. Page. The idea that you would think the way you play it is the way that everyone would be comfortable playing it is just stupidly egotistical. Like, he did a Ask Me or AMA on Reddit. I and I missed you. In the Steam forum for the game, they're like, "Yeah, I didn't feel like it gave you an advantage multiplayer. It just—it's more comfortable with it on. Fine, it's more comfortable for you with it on. The rest of us aren't little motion sick pussies. We can handle a little more. And the game is extremely limited. Like I thought, maybe I'd maybe build nests or fly around. You can't even land in that game." And you don't even feel like a bird. It's like someone stuck you in a bird suit. That one. But yeah, it really leads me to my main point that Ubisoft has a bad track record of just abandoning games. So I'm not. I, I would like someone else to make something like Werewolves Within or Star Trek. Like, yeah, they, they set up a good game, they just don't, you know, support it. I've never been a huge fan of Ubisoft. I like them in the beginning a little bit. But ever since they introduced you to the PC, it won't fuck off with it. Why am I so heavy like, now? Fuck off. Vodka for everybody. And they try too hard to be like artsy sometimes. Like I remember after Journey, they like kept pumping out games that tried to be like that next indie gem. But it's not really independent if you're a multi-million dollar company, you know. You're fucking Ubisoft. Bro. But yeah, they're a little bit too artsy so much too lately. And just for the sake, I don't mind artsy games, but you, you have to do it with like a certain purpose. Just playing it to because you know, another game did it most popular. That's not going to do it. Like, Journey has a point. It might be a little avant-garde sometimes, but it has, ultimately has a point. Like, it, it is a journey. It's got a message, a point, a purpose. Is it being artsy because they thought artsy games were the thing to do right now? 
No, it's my my own. Mine, mine own. Fuck Assassin's Creed. I don't know why people get caught so much shit, but if you don't give Assassin's Creed nearly enough shit, they do the yearly thing too. And it, when it was announced, it was announced as a trilogy, and now it's a story without fucking ending. I, just killed a billion I remember the first game just abruptly ends. What well, was the first part of a trilogy? So two more games, I'll have the conclusion. Right. Fuck no. Like the We're still putting them out. Up your ass. The firewall looks good. Beat Saber I'm really looking forward to, but that seems like it's still a ways off. I will maybe get Firewall on there, because it will work with the DS4. And maybe I'll have break down at the end, but I already did a lot of spending on games this year. I don't want to just not buy any more, unless there's something on sale on Steam, a good sale. But I have almost 750 games in my Steam library, and quite a few of them I haven't even touched. A lot of them, it was just like, I used to play it on PS3 or PS2, and I was like, it'd be good to have it, you know, for, and that's only a dollar. And now this classic game I used to play is just a double click away, and I can play it better. That's all you got, like, it's already too good, I like that on PS3, and I like the first one, but that never got released on PC, unfortunately. If they did it today, I would buy it. Speaking of which, Shimu came out. Shimu 1 and 2 is out on PC. I don't know about PS4 or Xbox. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw me doing a stream of that. You see what happens when I never you beat two. Nikolai. I beat one on Dreamcast, but then when I played two, it was the European version. I was always kind of disheartened that I couldn't bring my save data over because I originally beat it on the US version and then started two on the uh, all version. <laughs> but here it looks like it's all works so fine in HD, everything's handled. So, but it's 30 bucks, it, like, it was a surprise, I usually, like, budget out what games I'm getting. Okay, I'm spending 60 on Black Ops, and 30 on fucking Walking Dead. And there were a few surprise purchases I didn't, hadn't intended, like Electronauts, and Eagle Flight, and a few other VR games. And it's like, I'm already past the point where I said I was going to stop buying games for a bit. But, by the way, well, I don't know, someone really has to sell me that that gun is worth it. And that game is good. Like I like more like the concept of the game. I don't know if it actually plays well either, but I just like the idea of having a tactical oh, shooter in VR. They're splattered all over the game. place now. I don't really know. I hope they start getting a habit of converting older games into VR. I wouldn't say no to Grand Theft Auto 4 or 5. Uh, but which one of you crap your pants? Or maybe one of the PS2 ones. The Red Army cannot be overrun! Hey, we're generous with the power-ups, I drink to the nuclear bombs! This is getting boring, I'm not even focusing. I'm almost playing like in a coma. Oh, sure. I'm not sure what I'd buy. Fire fail! Oh, Capital I can pack a punch in the gun. Oh, wait, it's time for another video. Uh, <laughs> Dos Vidalia, bitches! Maybe I didn't see the door. I'm gonna try and pick one of them up. Why is no one caring about my lack of ammo? What? Why'd you switch my weapon out, you dumb bastard? There we go. That was a weird thing to do. I was in a bad spot that could have killed me. Asshole. Did I teleport recently? I've been playing for a while. Oh, yeah. Dun 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 that's why I'm playing this with the like, persistent into like coma. begging peasant. Hey, if this were an older block up, I'd have to be so on my toes right now. One bad move, I'd be done. How do you here, like that, maybe no bad move. I just pop anywhere but here or something. Never 
never mess with a... I would advise getting this game on PC as well if you want to practice Easter eggs. You don't need a beastly rig. You could always turn the settings down because the only goal would be to practice your Easter eggs. Because you can turn on unlimited perkaholics on with some mods. You can turn on all kinds of perks. The reason that's good is because you can find out what gobble gums you should need going into the map. Because sometimes you won't know until it's your way into it. Like when I was doing Gurad Krabi. I got hit with the Sophia's task of um, escorting a Valkyrie from, but I just couldn't do it solo. And uh, if I would have had undead men walking, I would have. But now I know the green though. And like with Revelations, I used to practice in that. I mean, honestly, I'm glad. If I would have done it live, like someone had, would try to tell me, like, hey, you gotta click on this rock that's on one of the launch pads, I would have never found that fucking thing. It looks just like an ordinary rock. But having actually like played it and seen it and clicked on it firsthand, I already know what it looks like. You know, things like that are good to like firsthand practice with well, instead of just reading it or seeing that tutorial online. I was thinking maybe someone could make a mod that like walks you through the Easter egg, like text on the screen. Hey, you got click on this. Maybe Why the mod does so things that slows down the zombies so you can really focus on what you're doing on the steps. And basically, the whole mod would be like a tutorial mod, a training mod, train people how to do the zombies. Like any time it was time for a step, text would pop on the screen, okay, now you gotta go here and do this. And maybe like you make certain things highlight that you gotta click on, so it's more noticeable. Just so you get, so when you do it live, you know what you're looking for. Like you know what you're doing. Stalin. You don't have to like, hold up, up your ass. Okay, first hand practice is better than just reading a guide or something like that. Killing them in Mark II. It ain't doing shit to them, so I guess I'm gonna have to swap that for a gun and double pack it. Nikolai cannot die! Hey, the drives! So it does. 
Hey, let's see, I talked about mob for a bit. Let's talk about Barry. Barry's a great map. A bit on the easy side, but great. A lot of, it's like the moon, and there's a lot of things to mess with and experiment with. And that's a good thing, because you'll get bored. You need things to play with. And they got, uh... I kept calling that dude Boris, but that's not his name. Begins with an A. I forget it, though. Hey, the Drunkard. That... I guess the closest thing we have to that now is the Apothecon Servant and the thing on Shadows of Evil. I don't know, he's very interesting. He's having like an ally that is uh, AI controlled. And then the buildables are very interesting. A lot of death trap buildables and buried. Come on. I guess that's all the zombies oh, they were still going on. Do you know if someone DCS do you lose your usable gobble gum? Oh yeah, I've had that happen. I usually farm them up pretty good. I got a good supply. And this one I have the alchemy is infinite. The only one I really use when I play with other people a map like this is I like I might use some punchables, because I get a lot of those. Workaholics I save for a good map. Or if I'm doing an Easter egg, but I'm not crazy about Come I'm quickly! I'm surrounded! They demean how cool it is to have eight perks. That used to be like a really special thing to do. Get all perks in the map. But now, anyone can do it. Hey guys, look what I did! Ammo and zombies. I guess it's time to farm a little ammo. Okay. Farm some ammo. Oh, damn. This is it is Uh-oh, don't take that out, a-hole. I you fall like call the bourgeois! That stupid animation will just pull it So annoying. When I play solo, though, I do do the dashboard thing just to save up all the guns for multiplayer. But I never do it. You on Bolshevik home. dogs! I play to the bitter end. How do you like that? I, but I also don't get stupid and use a perkaholic in my team. This level's pretty easy Let's to get stay out. I hate people that won't play a map if they not like everyone doesn't have a perkaholic. Especially on maps that existed prior to Gobble Gobble, like Shangri-La. Had some people that wouldn't even attempt the egg and said one had like extra credits. And I was like, dude, we, this map existed. And it was do completely doable without Gobble Gobble. I hate that they got rid of Spike more so. It ruins the egg, because part of the storyline in the egg is that the spikes plug up the gas molecules. The trip mines don't really make sense. Now let's do some monkeys. Yeah, I'm scrolling I'm back almost to in a coma. Just like a good woman. Thanks to the fucking infinite ammo bottle runs. Like being able to spawn max ammo. But I also have that cash back. Come, let's so dance to your bootstrap. And then the dogs are here. The dolphin, your children are becoming annoying. The rook is a bit more useful for the honor dogs. It's my vodka! Mine! Mine own! What you got for me? Either I'm surrounded or I'm seeing double! Don't really need that. That's more just to save me if I get cornered or something. Same with uh, the one where I can't see for 10 seconds. Come on. Like wait before sight! They still have the thing where you can... You used to be able to see, like, someone inside one of these in Black Ops 1. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's on there. Zombie, zombie. But we're talking supposed to be one of these. Oh, they're splattered all over the place now. But maybe they're still pouring in. Oh, yeah. Give me some gobble gum. What we got? Cash back. Mm. 
Oh, I used that rifle for another couple of them. What you get? Come on. Oh, come on. 13 shots. I guess I use up my dead wire a bit. These bullets can't really kill them, only the dead wire effect can really do damage at this point. Oh, a nuke! Early in games I don't go for nukes, but at this point, I guess they're on time faster. Now I'm starting to pounce. Oh, what dropped? I heard it. There it is. Vodka for everybody! Make sure this. Uh oh, someone's knocking on my door. Expecting anything. From the law office of Peter D'Angelo. Let's see what the what I might do for some da 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 da. It's just a. Hmm. Someone close to me died. It's re related to that. She had some dealings with a lawyer. I'm not that familiar with it. But now I'm like. You fall like Cardinal Bourgeois. Oh well. That was unexpected. I need to call these people up. But it doesn't sound like I'm entitled to anything. Alright, come on, Mr. Zombie. Ah, uh, no. If that's all you got, maybe I'm not drinking enough! Mm. I kinda wish I had a few beers for you. I think I'm gonna be here. Die, Satan's minions! Round 30. That turn again probably doesn't do shit anymore. shots left. Better save it for an emergency. I know what. 17 grand! I think that's the most I've ever seen in this go for. Yeah. No, we're good. Let me just pop one of these. Just with the doctor 24, 24, 20. You didn't bring enough help, Hicks, oh, to take shit. on the Soviet! Bad.
The alleyway would be faster, but the stage is safer. More wiggle room. And the alley, sometimes I fucking get the wrong gun out. It takes me a second to flip back over. Or to load a clip that can get you killed the time it takes for you to reload. This, if you find you're running dry, you're not so cornered. Oh, that smells disgusting. Like my fourth wife. I think I'll just use some of these. Really? It's gotta be getting time for uh, Pretty and smelly. We have gone. Dogs. Let's see how many zombies are still here. I swear they're really slow about spawning in. Like, they should already all be in when they're attacking. But they're like, they're still spawning. Why do they insist oh, the on board. thinking of me? Alright, let's talk about more about Barry. What else did Barry have? Oh, yeah, the wall placeables. The haunted house, which is nice. Oh, you can get the witch thing every certain time, but the witch follow you outside and kill it, and you get a perk. Free perk. And that level is fairly. Not too hard to get all the perks at once. But it is a challenge, and you risk losing a ton of points doing it. But you also have to go through there anyway if you want to pack a bunch. The hedge maze, man, that thing sucks. If you forget the way in and out of there, uh, you dead end at the wrong spot, you are dead. I wouldn't pack a punch on Barry unless you kept one alive. Or you know that maze, like the back here, man. But overall, it's a very interesting map. I like the aesthetic of the western theme. I like the HUDs too from Black Ops 2. Each level had a unique ammo counter. They did away with that. Very good. So the main now? dungeons had like a iron metal theme. Um, that's a good map. And then you can get the round infinity. You have the time bombs, which is like unheard of. The idea of setting the rounds back. Come, Sook. I have a go for you. Yeah, if someone DCs, you do lose your perks. If someone unexpected. But they, I know that's one thing that has improved. Uh, host migration. It used to be if someone left, that would pretty much crash the game. Like you wouldn't survive host migration. But lately, it has been doing a good job. Occasionally, it'll still hard to kill on me. But Down, Suka. And. I'm, I don't bring, like, too good of a gobble gun to a level like Kino. Like, no perfect holic, no perfect holic, no perfect Nothing that's, like, in my mouth. That's the type of stuff I usually say for Easter eggs. And I make sure, before I start an Easter egg map with fucking strangers online, that we're all clear we're doing the egg, and that there are people that look like they can get it done. There's no problem. If I get the sense, like, do you get a lot of people, oh, wanna do the egg? Do you know anything about the egg? No. I can't... Some eggs I just can't explain over my... You, or, you, like, for instance, uh, the Red Coffee. You're gonna want this... Sh is that the one where you have to fuck with the air tubes? Yeah, that's one you're gonna want a uh, cheat sheet out for. So I'm creating a really good cheat sheet for that stuff. Mm. And then we have Origins, which is possibly one of my favorites. It, it really rivals the moon. Moon I like just because there's so many things to play with and do. It's got a lot of unique mechanics, like No Man's Land. But Origins, that one. Man, there's never a dull moment. Every round, there's like something you can be doing. Building something, staff, building a box. Oh, pacing is just right. The amount of time it takes to get set up is just right. Not too long, not too oh, quick, cool. not too easy. I don't have to do anything. It is just right. But the only problem with that map is. I always want to do the Easter egg. I don't think I ever attempt high rounds, because sooner or later, you're like, once you upgrade the stats, it's like, you're almost halfway there. You might as well. See, I had that problem with Mob of the Dead. Getting nice and set up requires doing part of the egg. So much so that, like, there's usually, like, one step left by the time I set up. So, yeah, I might as well. I'm not crazy about the eggs that end the level. The eggs used to, like, they would just give you a gameplay advantage, like, all eight perks at once, but the game continued. I haven't been a fan of level 6. To me, this was always like an arcade type experience. The only goal was really to beat your old high score or go to a further round. So having levels that you can outright end and beat, I don't know, kind of takes away. And I'm always tempted to do it too. Like, it's very rare I don't want to get high round. I like it rough, but not that rough. It is a good map. Panzers aren't too hard. People bitch about the Panzers in the re-release. Oh, they're so hard. They're so, they are a bit harder than I will admit, but they're still killable. Come on now. Fucking just build yourself a ice staff. You can get the ice staff. If this were rushed, it would be free. Don't dig just anything. Just wait for a snow round. 
Getting enough points to open everything. You cannot even beat the drunk Eric, you get a ray gun from the box. That thing annihilates him. And the shotgun actually does a pretty good number on him. You, get, you dig up a haymaker. That'll bring him down. Why do they insist on picking on me? The Origins is such a good map. I was in the camp, I didn't like the ending. I was like, what, it's made up? Mm -hmm. And huh? I also don't like it that it's the beginning of this alternate universe, alternate timeline stuff. And I feel like it's not that good of a storyline, and it's just there to justify, like, Gobble Gum and all the new stupid mechanics. Not everything is like a canonical like story like a reason to exist. Some things can just be there, and I'll accept that they're there, but not really acknowledged in the storyline. I would have felt better if that's how Gobble Gum would have played. I, just killed a billion I don't like that they try to make Mocky the one that's been giving the drops all along. I prefer it to be Sam. I really like, that's one reason I love the moon too, is you cannot write swap out Rift Hulkman for Samantha. And it's really cool to actually play as her, because she has her own gun preferences, if and, I don't and it's so animal, rare you can play as her. Because you have to have at least another person doing the egg with you. It's not something that I don't think can be so Or it's just fun. But the egg doesn't ever stay. You know how to say owned in the Russian? Map. The weirdest thing is on the moon is I see people that don't think you can get back over once both excavators drop. And I actually thought this too until recently, but the, the truth is I don't let it happen often. So it's not like I get to experiment with ways to get back over. But me and my brother were doing it. We were tired of waiting for the excavator to reach tunnel 6, so we let the excavators reach the other, other two spots that so would have to reach tunnel 6. Or is it tunnel 11? I think it's 6. But anyway, we teleport with the hacker and I accidentally grab the PES suit when we get back and I have it. And I was like, oh no! Then I was like, wait, the astronaut can teleport you. Let's just let the astronaut teleport me back to the other side. And it worked! But like, I, I was watching someone talk about the map, they are like, again? once you get oh, that happens, you might as well turn the console off. And I hear a lot of people say that, it's like, no one, it hasn't occurred to anyone that you can use the astronaut to teleport back to the other side. I mean, he'll take the perk, sure, but it isn't game over. Not in the least. And I, I even have it on video somewhere. But yeah, the astronaut can teleport you back. In fact, didn't it occur to me, it's like, that's probably why he exists and can teleport. is so that you can't get screwed out of ever, like, getting back to the other side. But for some odd reason, like, no one thinks of it. I see so many people talking about the moon and they'll bitch that if both excavators go down, you can't get back over. It's not true. It's not true. Like, the last video I saw, I think it was by that Neuroxis, Neurox, I don't know how you say it, Nexus, or whatever his name is. Oh shit! I didn't know what it was. Shit! That's how I'm not out of it, I mean. Monkeys, do your business. <sighs> I wouldn't have left my. Why is no one caring about my lack of ammo? I think I can recover though. Uh, God damn it, that's so fast. Thank you, an idiot. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I have my fault for letting the damn gun get too low on ammo. Yeah. Hey, where is all the ammo at? Yes, thank you. Yikes. Meet Fuck off, man. Fury of the Red Army. Seriously, I just need it. There we go. Oh shit, I forgot to activate it. I forget, this one has to be activated. It's not auto. Load that shit, man. Die, you filthy dogs! What are you doing? Don't put the damn gun away. Fucking man. 
much better. Whew. That was a little scary, but we recovered. Damn it! We finished that perk bottle already. There we go. Getting fucking dice. Ah, oh, there we go. We're getting die, back. demon hell pigs. Get that speed. Get that double. Get that reload. I really don't need the third gun. I was hardly using the mark anyway. But I do need the double tap. Oh, I take some points though. Come on, zombies, take some points. I don't ever understand why they make this gun and you can't reload manually. They even make it more challenging to use. I am surrounded by hell pigs! Okay, man, the monkey, go, that's such horse shit. This happens a lot in the game. They just won't go after the fucking monkey in time. Hey, look what you're doing to the floor. No, no vodka for you. This time. There we go, that's what, all I really want to get from over there. <sighs> Back to this, I guess. Let's say 4047. Really? Where did my hell my points go? Let's see, I'm gonna get my four shots back. Now I'm back to maximum. And I have three monkeys, I need Juggernog, and I need speed to get low. Actually, I better get Jug first, I don't have enough of both, no! Alright, so, these are the two main weapons that I need. The only thing I really lose is Wood of Vine, which I don't really need. Do I want, no, I want Jug. Stop smoking, I need that Jug. Jug, 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 Jug. More Jug for me. I thought I maybe didn't get that. Prone points. I need to stop being so liberal with the fucking thunder gun. <laughs> and I need a pool. We got the alchemy. I say 33,000. No one, that's what happened to my damn points. Jeez, I didn't realize it got that expensive. Mm, give me one I can use, motherfuckers. Ready then? So I can do a real question. What Your the fuck? Are becoming annoying. This happened before. Like, it'll just take my monkey away. It's like, yeah, that'll just kill me. Death to you, demon spawn! That carpenter. No. That will keep them out for a while. But it does help them all come out at more of the same time. I hate when they come out the same file. Like the fist of Stalin! Up your ass! That's an unusual place to put the fist of Stalin. Build up a train. And then I'm gonna start relying on dead wire to do the kill most of the killing. This is, I'm gonna start using in case I get my path blocked. Block your path. You bolts, you big dog! I almost wish I did have a power back then. But by some miracle, I hit some top high score. I hear like those. I got the move, or they'll take me down! That, hey guys, look what I did! I 
I made a very big mess. Dead body. Yeah, they did make double packing too OP. I always wish they'd put stuff in that you need a ridiculous amount of points to do, like 100k or something. Something you, you would only do around, around 50, or do it only a lot, say around 40 or 50. Something that's just there for the people going for crazy high rounds. Just something to do so you don't die of boredom. Some appreciation that we're spending hours in like a nice little door or a weapon that's only accessible after around 50 or something. Just something new to do once you're in the high rounds and it's taking forever. Nikolai cannot die! Hey, the drives! Of course, I'm not gonna get lucky with the maximums. This is proper socialist reform! I what is no, I wouldn't say no to you. That music sucks! I need another drink! Shit. I wouldn't say no to that night. Oh! They're splattered all over the place now! Nah, I don't need that. That shit isn't doing shit to them. You know what? You can have a little fun. It's probably... See if you kill it still. It's not fucking shit either. So you're dead now! But you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! They're all around me now! <laughs> uh oh. Bad idea. I don't know if the like, death machine ever stops becoming that very effective. The original one would at this point. The point where I'm on the this one, it depends. If I got too many zombies around, that stupid animation can point it out. It was the next map that came out. I guess Shadows was the next one. That one I was mixed on. It was okay. Not great, but... I don't know. That one I don't mind it. Some people don't seem to like it. That seems to be a bit of a polarizing map. Shadows of Evil. The Horizon Dragon seems to universally praise, but I'm not that crazy about it. I think the layout's annoyingly convoluted. It seems like it takes too long you to get to a super room that's like next to But overall, I guess I do like the maps. Uh, I don't know. You see what With it being free, you that's all anyone line. has wanted to play for the past month. I'd rather play for Girl Ride right, Probably. I like that one a lot. My relations ain't like that one. But Blackout Crew maps, I don't think we're at the top of their game. Oh, I like Black Ops 1. That was probably the best, like, lineup. Each map was really good. Call's good, Call of Dead's good, Ascension's good. It just stopped being so good when you figured out how to do it in, like, you know how to it. Say old in Russia. There's so many train spots, it doesn't get easier. Or really easy. I found that to be the easiest map. But aside from that, Shangri-La was nice. I like... I don't know, it's a bit difficult, but it's got... it. Good. That's actually a good thing. After playing Ascension, I actually appreciate that it was harder to survive there. Keeps you on your toes. That map. And then the moon was brilliant. So Black Ops 1 had a good... Black Ops 2 I think did well too. They just got off on the wrong foot with Transit. But I appreciate they were trying... Like, Black Ops 2 is definitely the most experimental one. The one where they were definitely trying to do the most new stuff. Let's say 165,000. Mm. Yeah, I thought that was it, but you can never tell these late rounds. You might think there's one left and there's still one left. Oh, I do need my gobble gum. Damn it, now I don't need my gobble gum. Man, are you giving me another quenchable? I think there are I'm dogs out. coming yeah. now. Truth is, I don't know. It's more just nice to have all the perks, but you can make do with just four. I guess Widow's Wine can be advantageous. Everything else. Give me that. I'm gonna just shoot my thing down so I have to put it. Put it. Wonder how long.
going to run around back. No, I gotta go pee real quick. Alright, back, back, back. Alright. I've lost track of when I should be getting another Divinium. Good God, it's 1 p.m. I've been doing two and a half hours. And with the exception of the first game where I went down rather early, that game maybe took 30 minutes. So, about two hours of this is just this game. get an alchemy or a cash back, that would be very helpful. We can do round 50. I'm certain of it. What do you know? That's just what I want. In case I run out of wonder shots. Ah, shit. Fucking Christ, I'm not focusing. This is why our smoking will kill you. It's not the long damage, it's when you go to reach your secret that's called and you crash your car. That's how smooth and smooth it is. Oh shit. Let's be smart about this and fucking under the waste of the red all the enemy army. fucking can. Like wait before sight! Why am I so heavy now? They blink quicker out of existence. They, they used to do the fast blink a bit longer. But once they start fast blinking, if you're not already moving towards it, you'll probably miss it. I definitely don't want to risk missing it. I'd rather go a bit sooner than worse. Death to you, Spawn! Uh oh. Taste communist aggression, filthy worm train! Now let's try this. I'm gonna I don't think I've seen one in a while now. I'm just trying to get more general. Did you guys powers. hear that voice? Good. Dun, 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 dun. Yes! More Divinium. Man, I'm gonna have like 20 of these fuckers when I get done. Um, I think I have 10 outright. I'd have to do 10 single ones, so. I think I've gotten five, and then I got one from the daily challenge, and then it's times two, so that's like twelve. Get a few more, now we get twenty. What's my level? Shit, level twelve. I think I was level five or four when I started, and I'm on ninth level prestige, so it's a bit Oh, it's great. Still shouldn't take stupid risks like that, but it's whatever. I would have run them through a trap. Yeah, I kind of want to farm some points. I didn't realize that the couple guns were starting to cost me that much. I would have not double pulled. So I need to build up some points. So I have a sort of safety net. Alright, which one of you crap your pants? There we go. Nikolai that cannot die! Days. Hey, that drives! Like the fist of Stalin. Awesome. Now, late rounds of nukes, I generally want to let as many spawn back in as I can. 
Nukes is weird. You hate nukes in the beginning, but towards the end they start becoming your friend. They're like, yeah, fastest fucking round. Bad hell pigs, bad! That complaints at round 60 when you get one. Alright. Good game to go for a high score. Maybe Super Stardust. That's always one I like setting, trying to, trying to set the record, and come pretty close. And Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries. I wish they don't have leaderboards, but I wish they did, or there's a website dedicated to these two displays. Come, let's dance. I really like that. And that game just begs for like you know, world records and leaderboards. So, you would provide the site up, of course, by level and character. And I would, I don't think you'd need a divide console except for the Wii. I think the Wii is the only one where you get an advantage due to being able to use the Wii mode to aim. Like you get, you definitely can aim quicker than the analog stick. Everything else plays almost the same. You don't get a play advantage playing it on Xbox 360 versus the GameCube version. You might get a time advantage, but not a score advantage on Mercenaries. So you'd only have to divide by character and level. If that's all you got, maybe I'm not drinking enough. Like coding. I've taken a few courses, but I don't know if I'm confident I need to outright build the website. Or if I can afford that course. I'm going to be a too complicated site. The Red Army cannot be overrun! Damn, I almost got cornered there. Die, you filthy dogs! Let's run the dead wire about Oh my god, these zombies are taking forever. It's gonna be a happy hour by the time I'm done. <laughs> the worst part is, I probably couldn't do this online. Too many people will fuck up your shit, open all the doors for no real fucking reason. I just wanted to do it. Why? Unless you got a reason, don't do it. I hate when people open this fucking door. Or if I'm doing the alleyway strategy, they I like it rough, not. but not that rough. But around here, I wouldn't do the alleyway anymore. If you get caught trying to reload, they could kill you before you're loaded. Here, you have way more wiggle room if something goes south. Probably no one watching right now. This isn't the most watchable thing because it's just after a certain point. It is more useful for making it to a YouTube video later or using the footage as a record of what score I got. Come quickly! I'm surrounded! With a Soviet. How do you like that, demons? Oh, it's round 45. I'm like so spacing out where I do this. Just like, I don't know, it's just in the wall. First album is the best, their e six song EP. So, what are all maps that are coming with Black Ops 4? I know we're getting a lot of the dead in that past area. One where you're on a boat, the one where you're in the Coliseum, and then Classified, which is a 5 remake. And supposedly there's another one coming, so that's cool. I wonder if they can read the call. 
That one, the ones with actors, like, that aren't the main four, I think they don't bring them back because it's too expensive to re-get the actors. Even if they didn't bring them in to re-record their lines, you still gotta pay, like, the lightning strikes and stuff. And of course they had licensed music, for them, like, on cash, that was probably expensive. But they could have re-released, like, they did it on tablet, they re-released Call of the Dead and simply subbed the select characters for the main four and called it the director's cut. I guess you can imply this is what happened. Well, they never get out of safe, do they? They, they simply teleport to Shang Wa. But the tablet one is not bad. It's four levels, and they are legit. The you know trap levels. It's like not. Either I'm surrounded or I'm seen double. I can't remember which other one is. I'm not Shang. I'm not Shang. I'm not I usually play Call of the Dead, but it, it don't control well. You, you have to use touchscreen controls, and it has no controller support. So you're thinking, oh, I'll just take my PS4 controller to no, You can't. That's, that's definitely a game that needed controller support. Yeah, but, but then again, it might make it too easy. It seems like they did. Like, the zombies are slower, easier, almost like they're trying to accommodate it. So maybe it cheats. Your children are becoming but annoying. But the touchpad settings are really good. That's yeah, not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not fucking happening. Not happening. I am not going down at 45. That shit is not. I wish I had the dubstep monkey. I should have brought a freight power. Just one. For the monkeys. A billion zombies. Why is no one helping? I wish they wouldn't make the round take so long. I would be okay if the zombies got faster and more aggressive, rather than they just start taking ridiculous amount of damage. And each round starts to take up like How do you like minutes. that, demons? Yeesh. Current level shouldn't even be counted for high score. Shino Noma, the original one, and Die, Satan's minions. Those are two levels a toddler could fucking set records in if they had the time. Especially World at War, Shino Noma, because of the 24 zombies. You know how to say owned in the so two Wonder Wolf blasts, you pretty much know them. I thought I said something. Good ends with the road. Let's stay healthy. You're still crying. And you still get killed with the death machine. Don't let it trick anything in your life. I see it's like a lot of shadows. There's not much to say about shadows. Greedy capitalist dogs, give me ammo! Thing. It's weird that they did the celeb map right out the gate. Usually that's like the second or third groups to DLC. Oh, it's a little one. Those fuckers are better at sneaking up on you. I would have probably noticed a, a proper wall person. Oh, I Christ on crackers, we're still at round 45. Man, Revelations didn't even take us in the top. So you're dead now! But you were dead before! Ah, hey, fuck you! Zombie, it's round 45. Don't tell me you're still fucking walking. Getting low on ammunition. See, there, how can it be taking this long for the last zombie to come at me at round 45? It's like Trap has no regard for this time. We could do little things to make it go by, make it go here. thinking about starting to stream, because I like to play Metal Gear Solid 5, I love doing uh, the FOB missions and raiding other people's bases. I might start streaming that, FOB raids. Just once in a while. 
definitely going to do Black Ops 4 when it comes out. And then, of course, the next episode of Walking Dead. Now, I'm going to start doing more classic games. Like, I'm going to get away. I'm going to finish the getaway, but then I'm going to move on to like Silent Hill 2. Try to keep it more forward focused. The getaway has just always been on my mind to be able to beat it. I played it a bunch, but now I fully beat it. The game gets infuriating, but I need to continue it on. I'm going to wait to have some reefer so I don't fucking break the controller. Meet the fury of the Red Army! But I do like the PS2 era game. PS1, PS2, that's probably my favorite. They're, like, at this point, games aren't trying to be hyper-realistic. They still, like, fun is the key factor of the game, not having uber-realistic graphics or physics. It's all about whatever made the game fun. Oh, they're splattered oh, all shit, over I better the place save now. these. Nope. Save these for right now, I guess. That last one, I can definitely save myself. Come on. Oh, we're round 46, I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, that last one. Corner me like that. It's ridiculous how that shit works sometimes. Well, I'm only things. taking a man. Almost down myself there. That would have been a good idea. Up that shit, man. Just with the doctor order. I'm not sure if I used all the quick revives. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, this is actually a good thing, because now I can use something else for that force slot. That's getting kind of bored of using some shit. I'm not even risking that. Don't know when I do this. Double tap I need, and what should be the last one? I don't need meal kick. These two guns more than suffice. Alright, which one of you crap your pants? Shit. Don't fire both shots, man. I didn't mean from the double fire. It's getting pretty tense, especially now that I don't have my speed re or my uh, quick revive. And I didn't bring anything cheap, at, like uh, near death or anything like that, or self medication. I right, definitely be careful with my shots. Crushed under the might of the Red Army. I should be trying to use up my max ammo more often so I can start pulling for the next alchemy and the next guy's battle. And now let's see what I get. Let's just see what I get. Please get it an alchemy. Please get an alchemy. That, yeah. Well, okay. You see what happens when you touch the glide? For a bit. And then some. We get latency around to get a bit like complacent. I am get, surrounded like, um, by hell pigs! Hey guys, look what I did! I like it rough, but not that rough! Hey. I should utilize the teleporter more. Oh damn, I thought it still had some, uh, had to be linked. I hate how they run towards the front. Like, normally they would all pull there, and like, it'd be useful for doing this. Actually, let me do this. This would be nice. No! No vodka like for you! What you got, boom? Please don't be the rocket. I didn't do the jump thing. Do I still have... Damn, I haven't even put my thing up. 
wonder what happens if I get two. I don't know what that does. Jesus Christ, I just spawned in assholes. Leave at least one or two shots before I pop it, so it's easy to refill. One blast practically refills. You fall like coddled bourgeois. Better play it safe. I'm not sorry. Charging. Fuck, man, that's been enough time. Don't fuck with me, man. That's been enough time. Alright, I guess we can definitely activate this one, though. So you're dead now, but you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! No touching! I have issues! Fire! Oh, these lights are making me sick! Show to watch. They're all just kind of. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to test this out. Supposedly, if you do that, you can launch the rocket in the ascension room. Let's see if that works. But of course, I have to actually get the rocket. Being very careful not to jump again or do anything so I just flipped it. Ten cash back, seventeen three on the hand back. That useful. I should have brought a great power instead of like attacking the monkeys. Get the dubstep monkeys. Silly monkey. I always thought I was racist when they thought compared Tokyo to the monkeys. Surprise it didn't get it, but my ah oh, damn it's this one. Hate, 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 hate. I don't see it. I don't see it. It's dog time. Bullets have been killed. Die, you filthy dogs! Sometimes they'll act like there's a physical barrier to you. Can't I got this stuck right in now, so I can't move forward. Because it's this little. I've noticed that on this version of Kino, there's some kind of weird barrier. Maybe it was to prevent a glitch, that's usually why they put those kinds of barriers in. At least they cut back on death barriers. I hated death barriers, because sometimes like you would do stuff that really wouldn't feel like a glitch. Like I remember in um, 
in Shadows of Evil, if you use your monster to get up top, you can jump over that first gate. But it doesn't seem like something that's cheating. It seems like something that they reasonably let you do. But then you'll get the death barrier. It's like, nah, you should fix your fucking game. Don't punish me because you fucking left a glitch open that looks like a normal gameplay feature. It's like, fix your fucking game. Don't death barrier me because you left a glitch in. Fuckers. Ah, I should have fired my shots out. That extra shot can actually come in handy at this stage. You didn't bring enough hell pigs to take on the Soviet! Mm -hmm. Either I'm surrounded or I'm seeing double! Seeing more than double, buddy. Excellent. Oh, even better. That's fun. Shit, sure, that was. Oh, this will take that. Now let's wait for the Thank you, disembodied oh, girl voice. But is the kill don't make you invincible? In fact, I'm gonna tell some monkey just to ensure these parts are gonna die. There you go. Hakeem loots, hell pigs! Die! That was a kill bomb. So he still gets the back spawn from the bottom. Die now, son of a bitch! Still a good idea to play it but on the six. Man, th that thing doesn't bite by instant kill. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Make sure it actually throws. Sometimes you throw it and it fucking Samantha jacks it. Bitch. I don't want that one. You get the whole part of my work and gonna kill me? Why do they insist on picking on me? They're splattered all over the place now. I bet it's stamina again. Like, this stage is very bad about giving you the same thing over and over. You see what happens when you touch the Not happening, buddy. Not being cornered. I should have let them pull up more before I go back there. That means they still have the potential to swarm through the window over there. You have to still the thing where it gives you the same one over and over. I'll be pulling that shit all day and then we'll give me a different one. I think it's like the order in which the perk would be, like the fourth one's always stamina, the second one, the first one's always dead shot. Ha! You cannot even like beat the drunk Soviet! In a certain perk. But let them pile up a bit. Oh, I like shit. it, but like, I should be able to pass through that, but they like expanded the amount of mass the zombies have. Like, they can. The way they can wall you around is so annoying. Like, I should have easily made that. But that's where, like, stamina can be useful, because it, 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 I can, like, burst. No, it's my vodka! My! My own! We call that threading the needle. When uh, you're training a line of zombies and a gap forms, and you can, like, burst through the gap. Because it's like putting a thread in it. I always like the same too. Uh, someone I was close with was a seamstress. You Bolshevik dogs! Oh, oh shit! Once I get more points, I'm gonna start running through traps. Not how much the damn second fourth goblin is now. Or the third one. Good lord, it's probably over 100k. I'm gonna hit him with my dead wire a bit. But I'm gonna wait till I'm not in this stupid corner. Fucking death trap. There we go. I just killed a billion zombies! For one reason it's not because of one You can never tell which shot's gonna set off the, the second pack of perk feature. There's a bit more reliable. Not hanging out back here anymore. Hey. See, 
me without stamina, that might attract me. That's the problem too, is I'll get used to stamina. And then when it gets taken away, I don't hey know guys, that's... look what I did! How many things? Jesus Christ. Like the fist of Stalin! Up your ass! I don't know why you have the fist of Stalin up your ass. No vodka fingers. Like, this is supposed to be original. Nikolai, he's not nearly as extreme as he was in World at War, and even Black Ops 1, which they had already started toning him down a bit. I'm also hungry. Some food would probably make me play better, too. I was just going to do a little morning high round game with my coffee, and now it's going on two hours. <laughs> Am I always needing more ammo? See, without stamina, I might have got trapped there. They, they might have closed the gap too soon, and I got walled in unexpectedly. That's why stamina can actually become useful in this map. I find it to be a more... And like the other blackouts, it was just useful because you, you get around quicker. Like Ascension is where they introduced it. But now it's like, I don't know, it's way more advantageous for training zombies. In Black Ops 1, it didn't really matter, I could take it or leave it. It was just useful for getting around to the and the version of it was tedious. No! No vodka for you! <laughs> we are getting up in the rounds, aren't we? I got the move or they'll take me down! Still spawning in. Not entirely sure. It looks like they're slowing down. You know how to say owned in Russian? Owned! See, I hit it and it didn't take. I did it twice. But I hate that shit because sometimes you're like grabbing some ammo from an off the wall gun and you think you got it and you didn't get it and then that's the end of you. And if you die from your own stupidity or something that's your fault, fair play. But if you fucking died because the game just didn't grab the gun when you told it to, you have no way of knowing it. Like, that shit faulty. And you don't want to get killed because of a game fault. It's been particularly buggy lately, too. Oh, right now I remember what I came here for. Getting Careful. low on ammunition! Ain't afraid to let them know we kill them. Alright, now I'm gonna try the thing again. I don't have any tape reels. Probably gonna pop my thing next to Still rocking the dead wire. Yeah, okay. I want to keep dead wire. I definitely don't want to kill him because in Black Ops 2 or 3, they swarm you at the teleporter when you get back. Not a good idea. Hey, what's this lever for? I never noticed it. Does it do anything? Let's see if I can launch the ascension rocket. If it gives it to me. Irony is I usually forget and then I see the rocket and now I remember and now I'm not gonna get the rocket. Guy 25 follower, thank you 25 follower. Probably the person that was on the stream. Ah. Damn it, no rocket. See, when I remember to do it, I never get the damn rocket. I want to know if it works. I've, I always forget to try it, but I've seen someone online do it. Swear it up and down, you gotta jump five times in front of the mannequins. Fucking sounds retarded, but. Greedy capitalist it. dogs, give me ammo! Come on, it's liquid divinium time. I was wondering what it was shooting at. It looked like it was shooting at the teleporter. I saw sparks flying up there. You know what? I think it's time to pop this again. Die, you filthy dogs! You did not just give me another fucking max ammo! I can't tell you how often that happens. I fucking pop this thing and two seconds later max ammo uh, That's Now, like any smart player, I'm gonna just fucking really use this up as much as possible. But it's tricky with the thunder because you can't control the reload. 
I'm not gonna risk it. Just with, the with another gun, it's easier because you can reload any time. But this, you have to fire all your shots off. Once it starts blinking, I'd rather just go for it. Because I sometimes I'll let it get almost to the nitty gritty. But if I were to slip up and not get in time, that would kind of hurt me at this late. So, they're safe and safe. Demon spawn. The game. Place more sure bets. This is proper gambles. socialist reform. I'm just going to not see if I get into any. I don't expect it to kill zombies at all. Nice, Satan's minion. Not man. Cash back. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna trap one them now. Time for them traps. Yeah, I do not want to risk my thunder. I got ammo without a cash back on me. Or at Alchemist. Make sure you don't get too far away because they'll start popping out and respawning in here. That's what makes the traps not as useful, it's the way the zombies will so quickly start respawning in other windows. Dead. Get oh shit. Hey. <laughs> ay ay ay. The problem with this game is too is when you go back to playing the older block ops, you get so used to the three hits, it like it take it hits you for a second when you go down. Like damn, this is a lot harder than I remember. That's why I don't like this game. Make sure you play some under the might of the red army! I guess it's not the venue time. I like it rough, but not that rough. But you know what? I'll put them down here just to be sit down. They are fast. These are fast. I don't need to use quite so many thunder gun rounds. Damn it. Make sure they all hang out with the fucking death trap. You know what? That's not a good place to hang. Should be a lot of dead zombies now. They still spawning in? Don't seem like there's that many. Damn, the traps really help them. Oh no, they're still spawning. They're just slow lately. Price of this I'm gonna start putting my dead wire into them. I guess conserve the thunder gun until I get either an alchemy or a cash back. Cash shake. Make sure that as many of them are behind me as possible. So I don't get front attack. The guy that doesn't catch up runs far ahead, they'll fucking start spawning in ahead of you. So I'm just shy, I guess. I'm trapped for around. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. Keep that the help. Keep this out at all times. Close to a dog round, I think. But damn, the rounds are getting so long. See, to me, like after a certain point, setting a high score isn't really skillful so much as uh, you got the free time to do this. Which luckily I do right now. I got nowhere to be, so I can go as long as this takes. For now. See, they're still spawn. I'm not seeing any spawners. Oh, one. I think they're all trying to steal my vodka. Good hell, 
battle spawns, die! Bourgeois. Quite indecisive about which gun I want to have out. I get the feeling they're still spawning in, so I should probably keep the Thunder Gun out. I always keep the Thunder Gun out with a shot in it. Ha! You cannot me. even beat a drunk Soviet! Stamina really helps out the Ready Needle. Ready Needle. Oh boy. Ooh, a lot of people. Tell the zombies to hop off the damn stage. Hurry up, man. You capitalist hell pigs! Die! The Red Army cannot be overrun! You know how to say owned in Russian? Okay. Owned! They are still spawning in. Almost at that 50, though. They're all around me now! This is what happens when I'm like sober. I might wait. I don't die. I just keep going. If I was stoned, I'd probably get a bit more complacent. Why do they insist on picking on me? Sober zombies. Like wait before sights. I need to get good at enjoying this game without fun. Sometimes if I do something, a particular act to get stoned I start to like not be able to do it without. If that's all you got, or maybe you're not drinking enough. It's not good to rely on anything. Any one thing. Or rely on it. I'm not talking about that. You shouldn't have that. We should only enhance. It shouldn't be the bringer of money. But sometimes I do get it. You're too used to doing a particular activity stone. Mad. Can't do it without pot. And zombies is like that, especially because it's got this kind of laid back nature to it. Is it linked? It's linked. I'm gonna try the ascension rocket egg again. I'm gonna be pissed if this is bullshit. I don't know, the way you do it just sounds like bullshit. It's gotta be bullshit. Probably not. I wouldn't be surprised. Treyarch's weird as fuck about eggs sometimes. One, two, three, four, five. There. Five pops. I did it. Zombie might have knocked me out though. When it hit me, it moved me a little bit. Hope I'm dead as a triple zombie. I, I hate spawning him now. On a fresh start. I think we can make a crawler though. One, two, and a three. One, two, and a three. Mm. They're not going into crawlers. <laughs> I wish headshots always killed them, though. The Sniper Elite Zombie Series has a mode like that. 
but the thing is, the way you make it more difficult, the zombies just move faster. They start bobbing their heads. Like, I remember Ascension, the zombies had this movement style where they were almost fake, act like they were fainting, and then, like, stumble and re-catch themselves. And, like, that would fuck up your headshots. You'd have it on their head, and then they'd do the stumble move. And you'd be like, shit, missed. And they, I felt like they did more creative stuff with zombie AI. Now they just make them walk in different faces in hopes that would trip you up. Not wasting equipment, but I'm using this. Tell how much it, oh, ammo it takes off the wire. About half a clip. It's a dog time. That's a full gobble gum time. 32,000. That is literally all the money I have. Are they gonna keep making it? The entirety of my money. Yes. Praise the Jesus. Praise the Jesus. Right now I can be more frivolous than my thunder gun. Okay, don't be surprised if I get so bored I just start scaring the house for drugs to take while I play this. It's getting a little more. Like that, demons. Man, I wish we could play some music while I do this without getting copyright struck to oblivion. But honestly, the music player on this isn't that good. But I do have my turntable over there, or one of my turntables. I got the cheaper one now. But it's just good for casual listening. I got the main one in my bedroom, Audio Technica. USB 120, and I made the, um, the phono amp uh, removal, I did that, you know. I use an external one, a Manny, I think it by shit audio. And yeah, that's their name. Mine! Mine own! I hate when people go, that's a silly name. If it, yeah, you're taking the bait, man. That's why they did the name. Is to sort out that's the thing, you don't need to think they're a good company. They are a good company. You listen to their audio products and the you know, they, they, they your hold children up. are becoming they are, annoying. Quite honestly, some of the best for the dollar you'll get. Here, you might have a personal preference that one's slightly better than the other, but they, they do pretty good products, man. But, like, I hate when people comment on the name. It's like, you kind of like take no Like, they clearly put that name to just so few names. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But if that's what you look for, the name of the company versus how the product forms. I think that's why they pick the name to weed out the fakers. Because that should be your only concern with an audio podcast. How does it perform? Who gives a couple of folks get an audio? Not touching! I have issues. Not even good thing. Oh, hell shit. I know I should have. It is happy hour! I'm all kinds of getting complacent. The only thing I guess I could really get is in the elevator. That's in this elevator, isn't it? I know it's on the roof. I forget it. It's in the box in this level. I think it is. I think I've seen it. Like in the random pool process. Uh, is it the Vinium time? I think they're all trying like to steal my vodka! I think they're all trying to steal my vodka! I think they're all trying to steal my vodka! Already put two hours in it. And I know that I can farm the Ollie. I put it down. Stick of the devil. Down at 50. Yeah, that's fine. I was getting bored. Going on two out. Three hours and 30 minutes? Shit. Fuck me running. That's a long game. Yeah, that was long game. I'd rather do the Baruch holdout strategy because the rounds go by way faster. So I'll be doing Baruch, but I'll need at least two crate powers. Maybe three. You know what, let's see how I will be rewarded. Should have quite a few Diviniums. Round 50, that's not bad. I, w I would have gone higher, but I still like getting too complacent. And I forgot, there are little nuances that trip you up. Like the way that one trapped me, that sucked. Of course, of course, of course, of course. So I start at level 7, then I hit level 8, level 9, level 10, level 11, 12, 13, and... 12 Divinium. Round 6, 7, 8. 
I'm gonna go out and see if they fix it. Mm. Uh. Uh.